Hey everyone, it's July 19th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with double murderess Lizzie Borden, who famously killed her parents with an axe in Fall River, Massachusetts in 1892. And that is her right up there. Born in 1860, Borden grew up in Fall River, and her father had had great success in real estate and the textile business, owning a large amount of commercial property and multiple yarn, cotton, and wool factories. Despite his wealth, Andrew Borden was known for his frugality, being so cheap as to not have indoor plumbing, and living with his family in what was considered a poor neighborhood. Lizzie and her sister were heavily involved in local Christian organizations, as well as the national prohibition movement through the Women's Christian Temperance Union. At the time of the murders, Lizzie, her sister, her father Andrew, and her stepmother Abby all lived together, though the young women rarely ate dinner with their parents, and Lizzie was known for disliking her stepmother, calling her Mrs. Borden instead of Mother. Tensions ran high in the household, which began to bubble in the surface in May of 1892, when Andrew killed the pigeons that Lizzie was keeping in the barn with a hatchet, believing they were attracting vermin. After a family argument in July, the two sisters both took extended vacations to get out of the house. Andrew was generous to his wife's family, gifting them a house to which the sisters objected and demanded they also receive property, which they then sold back to their father for cash. Everyone in the house was ill at the end of July and start of August, which a doctor blamed on leaving food on the stove for an extended period, but Abby suspected they had been poisoned. Then on the morning of August 4th, 1892, Andrew and Abby had breakfast together before he set off to make his daily rounds. He returned at 10.45 a.m., and at 11.10, the family maid heard Lizzie shout, Maggie, come quick! Father's dead! Somebody came in and killed him! He'd been struck with an axe 10 or 11 times, with one of his eyeballs split in two. The maid rushed upstairs and found Abby had also been killed, with 19 blows from an axe to her skull. A hatchet was found in the basement that was missing most of its handle. Lizzie was arrested and put on trial for the murders. After the trial of the century, Lizzie was acquitted of the crimes, though there are many, including me, who believe that she killed her parents and got away with it due to beliefs about the capabilities of women at the time. Some alternate theories are that an illegitimate son of Andrew committed the heinous act, that the maid was upset with her employers and killed them, or that Lizzie's sister Emma killed their parents. I've read multiple books on the subject, and there are some theories that make sense that suggest Lizzie had an undiagnosed case of epilepsy, and that she entered a fugue state as part of a seizure brought on by her menstrual cycle and killed her parents then. In the late 80s, I was watching an episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents where he recited the famous rhyme, Lizzie Borden took an axe, she gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. I became obsessed with the case, and when we took a family vacation in New England a few years later, I begged my parents to take me to Fall River, where we visited Lizzie's grave and got to meet an elderly woman running the Fall River Historical Society. She showed us a bloodstained sheet from the crime scene and told us a bizarre story about Lizzie's funeral on the song In My Ein Country. A singer was hired to come to her home, sing the song in an empty room, then leave and not tell anyone about it, a secret she kept for years. At any rate, I firmly believe Lizzie Borden killed her parents, which you probably shouldn't do. If this is your birthday, have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so you can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Lizzie Borden, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.